Good morning all, you're welcome to OTV News at 10. My name is Atago Rina and I'm your presenter. The news headline. Protests from the women of Tombia which took place from 7th to 8th of October 2021. Now the news in full. The women of Tombia started a protest from the 7th of October to 8th of October 2021, calling on the government to come to their aid in reduction of the price of the boat transportation. The women pleaded that the government should help reduce the price from 400 to 250. Our correspondent was there. Let's take a listen. Me at the chairs and chants of the people of the community of Tombia saying no to the increase in boat price from 250 naira to 400 naira. They are saying no, and we are here to cover it and let you know. My name is Sharon Fortress. It's Obola TV. Stay tuned. Great women of Tombia. Great. Great women of Tombia. My name is Ogeshi Ekine. I'm a woman of Tombia. We have a problem in Tombia. When we want to enter boat, we are the market women. We want to go to market. It's 10 women, Ingbe women. If you have 100 naira, you cannot buy anything in Tombia. If you want to go to Potai Court, without 2,000 naira, you cannot go. When you enter boat with your sack bag or one rubber of jerry can, they will say 500. If you don't want to pay, go down. Those people that are making that noise, they are not the boat owners, they are the drivers. The people also called on the local government chairman to bring in more boats into the Tombia community as initiated by Fenibo Ikuruma to reduce the price from 400 to 250. Seeing as if there are more boats in Tombia, there shall be reduction of price. We support Fenibo, not that we need the money. We did not support Trenibor because of the 400, but we support Trenibor because of our poverty, our transport, our load. That is why we, the Tombia women, we support Trenibor. We support ABS. Look, I mean, Tombia is a kingdom, and anything you are doing, you must consider the Congress. You don't just stay in your house to say you are sending a message on uh, uh, Facebook to the world that you have increased. Uh, transportation fare from 400 to 500. What about those that does not have an uh, Android phone to know that if they have sent us something on air? And, um, here are the chants of women and um, the people living in Tombia community saying no to the increase in boat fare from 250 naira to 400 naira. Those who are uh, in control initially, maneuvering the exploiting the community by increasing the transport fare and, and I mean, uh, I mean uh, monthly, not annually, monthly to the detriment of the public. We are suffering a lot. Look at the distance, it's not up to uh, in Port Harcourt, it's not up to a uh, 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 one bus stop, the distance is not up to one bus stop. That we pay 50, 50 naira. What is happening? But we are, we are paying 500 naira. They are, they are planning to increase it to 700 naira, 800 naira. What have you done to them? We need, uh, we need the governor to please bring the transport down because with the help of the transport, the teacher can be able to come because they are suffering. Without them coming to work, we don't achieve anything. Going to school and sitting down from morning to afternoon, we achieve nothing because we are very angry. They say students go to school to achieve knowledge, and if we go to school, no teacher to teach us, we don't achieve anything. Thank you. They should reduce the boat because it's affecting our teachers and coppers coming from the other side, and still so would never learn anything when, when we went to school. That's it. We don't need transportation of 400, we need transportation of 250, cried by the women and written on their plan cards. They said that if there are more boats in the community of Tombia, the transportation can be reduced from 400 to 250, and they plead that the government should come to their aid. They also went more to say they don't have good water and good road. If the government can help to produce good water and good road for them, it's going to make things easy for those indigents in the community of Tombia. The community, there is no light. I think that's what the local government chairman should focus on. There's no light, there's no water. 
it's not increasing both fare now that people are complaining and you are increasing both fare. How do you want the economy of this place to survive? So I think he should redirect his energy towards providing light. Then for the larger one, the governor should give this community roads. If there is road, all this unnecessary hike and no hike will not be there. It's just one bridge from Obakri to Tombia and there's a road. We need water from the chairman. We need light from the chairman. What we need is not this boat. If he wants to help us truly, let him provide us local government boat to take 200 naira. Let him leave this 250 for us to rise. The women are pleading to the government to come to their aid to attend to these matters that has been brought up. If these issues are attended to, life will be made easy for the indigents of Tombia. This is the news at 10 from OTV. I'm your presenter, Wina. See you same time next week.